Hi, this is Jonathan Pramana, welcome back to this channel. The secret of Grand Prince Song Num's birth in the drama under the Queen's umbrella make all of the viewers asking and curious because he is grow up in the outside the palace. Finally in the episode 10 before we found a clue for why Grand Prince Song Num live outside the palace. Grand Prince Song Num was conceived and born during the mourning period of the former king or his grandfather. If you are a royal drama lover, you must know some of the rules during times of mourning in the kingdom. One of them may not be married, and there may be no appointment of a queen or concubine. One of them is also, the replacement king can't sleep with anyone even with the queen. But in that time Queen War Yong is pregnant and giving birth of a baby, Grand Prince Song Num. So because the queen was pregnant and gave birth to Grand Prince Song Num during the mourning period for the previous king, this is the big reason why Grand Prince Song Num live outside the palace. In the episode 10 before we saw Queen Do War take Grand Prince Song Num and saying he can't be in the royal family and not supposed to be born. So, it is considered a disgrace and must be sacrificed. If I'm not mistaken, the mourning period for the king's death is longer than the other mourning periods and if it's not wrong is about three years. So naturally, the queen was pregnant and gave birth. So from that also to protect Grand Prince Song Num, Queen War Yong chose the decision so that Grand Prince Song Num was raised outside the palace and raised by a nanny. Queen War Yong actually not accept it and doesn't want her son grow up outside the palace, but she has no choice. Grand Prince Song Num should live outside the palace and grow up as normal people to avoid the rules to sacrifice him. If he's still in the palace, there is a big chance he will be die and sacrifice. This is actually insane, but the tradition must be followed by the kingdom. But in my opinion Queen War Yong is already pregnant before the former king death. But sadly the former king die right before she giving birth of the baby. So this is make everything become confused and mistaken as cultural violation. This is also answer the rumor about Grand Prince Song Num, who were not having a royal blood in the episode 10 before. He has a royal blood, but because of the culture, his birth become a misunderstanding. What do you think? Do you have a theory and opinion about this? Don't forget to write your theory and opinion in the comments column.